morning, viewers. Welcome to High Plan Elementary. You're watching HPE TV live from the library. I'm Dylan. I'm Sam. I'm Joseph. I'm Abby. And I'm Sophie. Please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Happy birthday to the following students who will be celebrating this week. John Crawl, Isabel Evans, Nathaniel Brennan, Ashley Kim, Bianchi, Mignon, Colin Frank, Nathan Maria, Arnie, Arnie, Megan Rickards, and Andrew Walsh. Happy birthday. Please visit the office for your birthday tomorrow. And now for office news. This week, we were excited to have scientists from the Mount Washington Observatory at an assembly. The scientists in the auditorium and on Skype presented students with a live view and description of all the weather activities on the Mount Washington, the highest peak in the northeastern United States. Some of the coldest and windiest temperatures happen right here in New England, thanks to the PTO for such a terrific assembly. And now for the new segment called Covers of the Week. The following students have successfully completed course one. Catherine Francis, George Stoika, Darian Zhang, Aaron Mystery, and Naya O'Meara. Please come down to the library at the end of this broadcast to get a certificate and brass. Here's the weather for today and this weekend. We had some signs of spring this week with temperatures reaching 58 degrees on Wednesday. I sure wish those sunny skies and gorgeous temperatures could stay with us. The snow started to melt, but don't take your swimsuit out yet. This weekend's weather will be a bit colder than we usually expect in March. Temperatures will stay in the 30s during the day and night. There's a chance of more precipitation this weekend. Saturday's forecast will be rainy, and we might see some snow during the weekend progress into Monday morning. That's what's happening in weather. What's happening in sports, Sophie? Well, Sam. In spring training news, the Red Sox beat the Yankees 10 to 6. The Celtics beat the Grizzlies 96 to 92. The Patriots are losing some key players from our Super Bowl championship team. Daryl Weaver signed a big contract with the Jets. Patriots star Vince Wilford is considering signing with the Texans. Dave Marine signed with the Giants. Patriots fans are already worried about the impact of this loss. And now we will be treated to a book talk from Abanea from Miss Bresnahan's third grade class. No, no, it's just that, well, here, something in the small pouch attached to the waist of my gown, I found an embroidered handkerchief. I reached out and gently patted the fog felt sleeve. You would drive my feet to touch your lips, too, Mr. Chimney. All right, let's try again. This time, the kiss was without a hitch. I leaned down, hung up my lips, and closed my eyes. Violet, who is far more experienced than I, had told me you should always, always do this with kissing a boy. I assumed it was the same as kissing a boy frog. The frog looked so cool and smooth against the frog. The sensation wasn't too unpleasant. It was what happened next that took me by surprise. Hi, I'm Princess Emma. I've had many adventures, but none of them have been like this one. Ever since I met Princess Edric, my life has completely turned. By the way, you know Princess Princesses as graceful, graceful, polite, beautiful, that I am. Let's all admit. But have you ever heard of a princess that's clumsy? That's how it was when I came to the swamp. And when I met him, I really didn't know what was worse. Marrying a prince I didn't want to, or kissing a frog. Hmm. But every single adventure that we had, and we had a lot of them, turned me and Edric into very good friends, and Okay, I'll confess, I did get married. But I married who I wanted to. Plus, found the potential to a brand new career. One day, I saw a book, and I thought I'd check it out. It was called The Frog Princess by author Edie Baker. I read it, and I realized it was our adventure, with every part. Henceforth, I declared that everybody in town must read it.
Nice job. That was fabulous. So well done. Please gently put the trees back and put all 